I just love that sound. I can see those toms ready to mount those hens. But before I go out on my turkey hunt for the spring, I need a pack to hold all these things. So I'm made, making this video to share with you uh, my findings. Uh, you know, there's a lot. There, I never thought there'd be so many turkey packs to choose from, but man, there's a ton. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go take a look at the one I ended up with. And I'll adjust this camera because we're gonna do some zoom ins. And it's actually an $80 pack from Game Winner. So we're gonna do a dissection of this pack to see if it's something that you might want to pick up. Um, likes, dislikes, the whole nine yards. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so let's go through some of the components and features of the turkey pack from Game Winner, and then I'll put it on and show you how that works too. Because um, they it is a one size fits all, which I was skeptical of but there's so many straps that adjust to certain sizes uh, it seems to be true. Right off the bat the shoulder pads themselves um, can you can hang accessories on them and whatnot but it also has some padding so if you have a heavier pack you carry a lot you're out for a while multiple days um, some guys like the thin strap for the shotgun uh, but but you know the padding is nice it's not too much you notice on the back too You've got some pads on the sore spots of the back. The lower back is a full pad. So that's actually nice and that's part of the belt which we'll get into. Hopefully you can see in the back here, this is this pack is reinforced with uh, framing, some steel bars going through the frame. They're actually made out of aluminum. Um, so when you lean back onto your pad, uh, it doesn't buckle down on you. So those are nice and sturdy in there uh, as well. And then the bottom part of the, the, the pack is the belt which has all the components which I'll show when I put on. Now on the other side what I really like about this pack, so on the back side obviously you have your seat that's attached, your cushion, but this cushion is a full three inches and it is a good solid, you can't tell from the video but when I'm squeezing this thing pretty hard and it keeps its shape, but more importantly it also has a full rubber bottom. So as you guys, your experts know out there, when you're putting this down, you don't want to be sliding all around. This one's actually pretty impressive, right? And it's obviously got its adjustable straps and can be completely taken off, as you guys are aware. Now on the bottom side here, you're going to know, let me go down just a little bit on the camera. You're going to see there's one back pocket for basically, and by the way, this is a soft cloth. It's a quiet cloth, they call it, so when you're walking around, but the zippers are loud as hell. So I'm like, great. So I can walk around all quiet, but the minute I gotta unzip something, that's loud, so that's a negative. Um, but this is a full-on pack to put all your accessories in there. It's a good size pocket. Uh, and then what happens is, as you guys are familiar with, as many of you, those who aren't, I'm gonna share it with you. Um, the pack itself to hold your decoys when you're walking, and getting to your hunting spot and then your toms when you get your kills is adjustable so and it's also a blood leak uh, it's got a, a blood leak thin liner on it stain proof but it also adjusts to let's say you get your two bird limit you can easily hold that many in here it's gigantic now I carry accessories in here um, until I get to my spot, but it's gigantic and it buttons up nicely as well And then obviously it has the hey, I've got my Tom. I've got my birds uh, I'm not camo don't shoot me uh, Rag you can pull out of there and hold out and there's also um, a water reservoir So if you're one of those guys who likes to use one of those you can Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on and talk about the the compartments Okay, so let's start with uh, putting the pack on and right off the bat you notice you got your support uh, strap up top and a lot of the vests that I was looking at go real high on the neck and choke you. This one's adjustable so I can stick it wherever I want to keep it nice and tight on there. Of course they're all adjustable straps. Now, on the left side, hopefully the camera's dictating that correctly, part of the what I'd call belt itself the left side belt now has and let me go down a little bit on the camera has a couple of easy access pockets right so 
your thermos cell pocket, which we love, right? You gotta have that now with the mosquitoes. Fits in there nicely. And then I've got my box call pocket here. What I like about their pockets is as I take this box call out, and hopefully you can see it, they have straps to hold in each utensil. So this thing's not falling out or, or coming out on you. Um, not to mention it's if it gets unbuckled or whatnot. But then, you know, the box call, you guys know. Now, I love this one. I won't do a review on it. You guys can put this, this magnet idea is just phenomenal. But I can take it apart, put it like that, and now you won't hear me when I'm getting out there. But the bottom line is, is that it's plenty big to hold a full-size paddle or, or box call. Right? And then there's some other components in there as well if I want to use. So that's in there. That's on... I, I say that to you and now it's totally making noise. So now there's also a pocket across the top. Okay. Okay. That's enough of that. Put in the box the right way, Scott. Okay. Alright. So let's get into the pot the top zipper. The top zipper is where you're gonna hold your gloves or your head and neck. Um, camo setup, right? So there's a full deep pocket here for that as well. Okay, so that's left side belt pocket. On the right side, and now I'm actually going to buckle this together as I go because that's how it's set up. And you can adjust how close or how far away these are. These are adjustable. I'm making them loose for the video. But on the right side, then now I've got my calls. I have a slate and aluminum. But I have two pockets for each call. Okay, you can see them in there, right? And that's what that pocket's for, and it holds two. Okay, on the far back side, you have your mouth call pockets. Now I'm putting some other things in here at the moment, like the sandpaper and cleaning up my strikers and whatnot. But it's got two smaller pockets there, as you can see. Now, so you're asking me, well, where are the strikers? So actually on this one, on the inside, and I'll, I'll do this so you can see it better, I have a compartment for the strikers themselves, right? So I can easily pull one out without making too much noise, and that's why they did that. So the strikers are actually on the inside of this one. That might be more for protection of weather than anything else, okay? And again, you can adjust these to be as close or as far as you want apart and nice and tight. On the back side here, you're going to notice that I've got a pocket to store water or insect repellent. That's right here. So I have one on that side, and I have one on the other side. Back here, insect repellent, in that case that's what I'm doing. Or water bottles as well. So, to me, for $80, and I'm going to show you the website on the video here, this is probably one of the better ones to allow me to carry what I need. There, there are obviously lots of other compartments, pocket size to put accessories in there, what you want in there. Here's my head and neck, scarf, camo. But you get to choose what you, where you want to put things, and I, I like that a lot about this vest. Um, may not be the best on the market, but for $80, it's holding everything I need. Right, and it's fully adjustable. So every strap is adjustable based upon how big or small you are. Okay, so hopefully that helped out quite a bit. The only downfall I'm saying again is the you know, I love the soft, quiet material, but we can't have loud zippers, right, guys? Thanks for watching. Academy Sports Outdoors is where I picked this turkey pack up. Uh, as you can see, $80, you know, it's a pretty decent price. Um, you can take a look at some of the reviews and, and some of the more detailed pictures here. Um, the, the pictures and the photos of the pack are the old model. So yours is going to be a little nicer based upon the one I just showed. But it gives you an idea uh, of basically what you get. Like, for example, here, this photo only shows two strikers when they're now behind this pack and there's three so things of that nature but for the most part uh, you can you can order it from academy.com